Hello gamers of doom. Today I will be doing something different. It's time to give you guys some tricks and tips out to play Last Island of Survival. So this video will be sort of a tutorial. I wanted to make things as hard as possible, so I recorded it in a standard server loaded with people. I can only play social servers so this will be challenging. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. The first thing you want to do is die to a hacker to prove you are on an official server. Now I can finally start the video. The most important thing to do when you start a server is farming fuel wood and stone. You need to put furnaces down as fast as possible. But how do I do that so fast in a loaded server full of people in gas stations? I will show you after I destroy this group of gamers with my legendary stick. There is a place named Crude Oil Base. Doesn't matter what server or mode you play. You always want to have a base close to it. The amount of fuel you can farm is outstanding. I'm not saying you need to make your main base here, but making a small one with a bag to control spawn timers is something you really need to do. When you are doing important stuff, always open your report option. It's helpful to check how many players are close to you, sometimes names you recognize show up, so this feature is very helpful. Now where is the best spots to make a base? Raiders like using cars to quickly move loot. Vehicles cannot move under the water, and usually people are lazy to get out and swim to an island, so any spot that forces people to swim is a good place to build a base. Remember, this is a solo guide not a 10-man legion run where you want to build in a flat ground. For my core base I make in 1x1 with 3 protecting walls, 3 roofs and 4 doors. You can make this base full steel and titanium later without much work. If you want, you can expand it within PvP area. My complete version of this space is much more complicated to build, and you need advanced build mechanics, so I'm making this simple for you. Just follow up the video it's very easy to build, and once it's full iron steel, people will need handmaids to raid it, so nobody can raid you in the first days. I paint it. I just spent the rain day on drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places, I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive, so I almost gave it. All this shit that I'm laying, and it's only the foundation. I've been going crazy, just trying to find a way. I was in a basement, trying to turn the page. I was going through the face, but nobody seen my face. I was chasing at the paper.
looking in the mirror for the cell diagnosis. Feel I live it and not just me. For the ever get to know me. They tell me that you need me. But your action didn't show it. Knowing that you play the angles. And I'm seeing through your motives. But the weight down on my shoulder. Found a way to hold it. I can't keep my focus. Betty, keep composure. I win. I've been coping with all the pressure that I fed. Make it hard to hold my head. Make it hard to get to sleep. Like I'm slipping from the edge. Struggling to get a breath. Right the wrongs with the lead. Life is not a guarantee. Just dying by the clip. Still prescribed a deal of mess. Not a way to flee the scene. I've been trying to get a grip. On to something out of reach. Life is speeding to a peak. It's how I realize that I'm not the man I want to be. I've been running for myself. We all afraid to die alone. Forget us all I ever be. I've been scrolling down a feet. Afraid to never get to see the type of liberation that we really need to set us all free. I went out of my way. I'm trying to feel the eye again. I'm lost somewhere in my head. But now they're all in my own. Now with the base, you need to upgrade everything to iron. Also making the 1x1 and doors full steel is super cheap. Once you have done this upgrades enemies need at least 900 oil bombs to raid you. Now let's be honest, who will farm 900 oil bombs to raid a solo guy base in a standard server? Before leaving your base make sure you farm enough ores to fill all your furnaces. Making your base full iron and steel is your main objective for the first hours, or else anything you farm will be stolen by a random guy with a bomb. Once you have done that, you will need a weapon, and I will show you how you get one. I knew those guys from before had an SMG. Trying to get one from a box is like playing lottery. What I normally do is farming rotor monuments, looking for a bow or a shotgun, and lure gamers to a close fight. Most people that play this game do it wrong. They look for random PvP and forget this is a survival game. Once they have lost all weapon their age quit, so you want to be the one that will steal their weapons before they quit. Every time I go back home, I move around map corners close to water. Usually there is no people there, so it's a good spot to farm ores, burn them at home and return. I stayed offline for 3 hours to prove you I was not getting raided even in a full server. Like I told you, people is lazy to swim, so your chances to not get found it's much higher than if you build in a map corner. The next thing you want to focus is learning stuff, upgrade your table and finally learn SMG.
How do you do that? Use the revolver they give you once you have done the building tutorial and farm roads. Don't forget to farm monuments as well. Also the recycler is your best friend when you run out of space. Once you finally find a good item, go back to your base, and keep it safe until you have spares, to learn it on a drafting table. See why having an upgraded base is important. Always keep your loot safe. By now my base was almost full iron. I had SMG bone armor and this is not challenging anymore. People say standard is very hard, and social servers are made for noobs. I agree with them so I decided to spawn as a naked once again, and do the exact same thing I did just in a few hours. Also, if you have any doubts about this game feel free to ask me on the comments, we'll reply you as soon as possible. Keep in mind I play social servers so I might not be able to answer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Even though crude oil bases always get raided first, my base still up without a single raid attempt, and why? Well like I told you, people don't like to swim in this game. Now the only thing you need to do is farming rooms for PvP and explosive items. Where is the best spot to farm those? The answer is simple. Nuclear plant obviously. Most of the times nuclear have green, blue and purple rooms. Also there is a ton of fuel here, oil refiner and a recycler. People don't like to farm tunnels for some reason, so it's always a good spot to get some extra gear. You might be asking yourself, why is this guy jumping like a retarded gamer? When you jump you make no footsteps, so it's very helpful when you are farming inside the tunnels. People can camp you from outside if they know you farming those rooms.
You might be asking, does this guy really know what he was doing? Is this guy truly good? Have you won any badge already? And that base still up until now. He plays social servers so he is just a noob.